Has Marvel's Avengers received a substantial update since it launched three months ago? No. They put a timer on some pre-existing missions and called it content though. Damn Crystal Dynamics, you kiss your mother with these asset flips. You know, I watched a developer stream yesterday. It wasn't their first stream either, and it was still laggy as the first time they tried it. You know, if the devs can't figure out googling a video on how to reduce settings to have a healthy stream, then what hope does the game have? The fastest these developers ever worked was to slow down players who were leveling too fast. They put in a patch to stop time traveling for gear. This was when the game was too broken to refresh the gear vendor inventory properly. They put in a patch to stop people gaining polychloron more than the amount that was allowed daily. You wouldn't want people playing the game too much now, would you? They put in a patch to remove a pattern farm so you buy, buy, buy their skins even though the skins are all trash. They even put in a patch to stop high priority targets from spawning so you couldn't get gear fast. I'll be completely honest, this is the one that rubbed me the wrong way because this game was desperately in need of a patrol mode or some sort of replayable content. They could have modified the drop rates but instead they just stopped the guy from spawning. The developers clearly wanted you to stick to going through the 48 floors of the same garbage in their mega hive and doing it alone at that, comedically. Some of these patches have actually removed features like challenge levels and at the moment, enemy levels do not scale when changing the difficulty. But it's okay, because difficulty never changed the rewards you were going to get anyway. So for three months since launch, players have been served up glitches, crashes, bugs, two villains on repeat, one enemy faction, zero iconic Marvel locations, and broken, irrelevant loot when your game is supposed to be a looter. So the consequences are about as you'd imagine. 98% player drop off? That's just what we can see, baby. I'm sure it's much worse. And even though Scott Amos hilariously assures people that players will return, even if all of the players returned, this game would still have trouble turning a profit. Even after half off sales and shills lying about how good the game is, Christmas sales, it won't be enough. This game isn't fun, it isn't sexy, it's bad representation of the characters that people probably loved outside of this specific entry are a kiss of death. The core reason that this game has failed is because of the nonsensical, almost psychotic direction of the developers. In a Marvel Avengers game, after the single player that you can only play once that focuses on Kamala Khan and reduces main Avengers to 10 minute portions, the hero that you chose for the first DLC release is Kate Bishop? Who? <laughs> Wait. So, instead of Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, Vision, Ant-Man, Wasp, Storm, Wolverine, Captain Marvel, War Machine, She-Hulk, y'all went with Kate Bishop, a character who can apparently teleport. She can make portals now. She can use her tech to create holographic projections of herself, a character that according to the developers is going to be retaining her witty takes and sarcasm because apparently everybody got to be Tony Stark, you know what I mean? And not even the rude, alcoholic, realist Tony Stark, the one who's a bastard, but the sassy, one-liner, wisecracking MCU Tony Stark. Ooh, okay, uh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy. What's up? What took you so long? Fighting robots? Ha! Me too. Oh, Just cringe. These failed executions of characters that are little more than just girl versions of characters that came before them. It, it, it's stale. It's trying too hard. You're, you're trying to force them into relevance, but uninterested players are gonna see that from afar and be like, bitch, girl archer? <laughs> oh no! It's easy to get excited about good heroes coming to this game, but then I just remember, and I immediately deflate. What do I remember? That the game has no idea how to execute these heroes without screwing them up. Somehow the publisher and the developers have no idea why people won't buy this broken ass game. But I think they know deep down inside. 
Even post Endgame when people can claim superhero fatigue, Marvel's name carries a lot of weight. Highest grossing movie of all time, best selling comic of all time, Fortnite used Marvel recently to print money and effortlessly executed the characters in a way where they sold themselves. Sexy, one-to-one -one Jim Lee outfits identical to the comics? Psh, well, here's the money. That's supply and demand. Marvel's Avengers is what happens when supply refuses demand and attempts to tell people what they want, as if they'll just buy anything with the Marvel brand on it. And for that, Fuck you, Marvel's Avengers. Broken, incomplete game, non-existent post-game, shallow gameplay, ugly characters, lazy skins, and confusing, incompetent handling. But most disrespectful of all is the fact that this is an ongoing beta for an incomplete game that players are actually just beta testers for. And the irony is, after Spider-Man, the plug may just be pulled. This is smaller, blander, and contains less than Destiny did six years ago. Character models so off-putting, they won't wonder why no MCU skins. They'll wonder why do they have to look so cheap, so awkward -y. <laughs> This game could go free-to-play right now, and players would see everything it has to offer inside three play sessions. I flooded every outlet that I could with exactly what makes people laugh at this pathetic entry. So if they want to pretend that they don't know what it is by now, that's fine. But two villains, one enemy type, zero Marvel locations, they could, they could have millions of people jump onto this game tomorrow. They won't be able to keep them. They could have made dozens of well, war table posts, tweets, roadmaps saying Black Panther's coming, Doctor Strange is coming, Scarlet Witch is coming. But the fact that they haven't should tell you something. The future of this game is up in the air. As excited as some of the NPCs who are going to play this game regardless of whether things get updated or not, I'm 10 times more excited because I want to see what this Kate Bishop DLC drop does not include. And I'll be right here to update you with that. Thanks for the uh, likes, the subscriptions. Hopefully you're as excited as I am for Cyberpunk and you'll join me in this last big Marvel's Avengers laugh before it's time to really kick into that game. It should come as no surprise that as per a tweet from the Marvel's Avengers Twitter, the cloning labs that were promised for before the drop of Kate Bishop are now delayed uh, onto a, you know, a to be determined date soon. If you, uh, if you want to go there, I, I want genuinely to know how you feel about this game. What do you think as it pertains to its future? Do you think that past Spider-Man, this game has a ghost of a chance in convincing people to throw their money down that well? And I don't mean uh, players. I mean like investors, the publisher, uh, Marvel. You know, this can't be great optics for them if they care. And if they don't care, why don't they care? It's just turning into a very confusing mess that um that were it to have been sorted it would have been by now in my opinion but i'd like to know yours so please leave a comment and uh take care of yourself man discord links in the description follow me on twitch whatever you want to do <laughs>